You know, my wife Angela and I share a lot of good times together in the outdoors. Hunting, fishing, great shooting days like this. This really is the fabric for a lifetime of memories. Just you remember that bet. I got the first one. <laughs> you know, hunting is a lot more than just searching for game. It's a matter of friends, family, quiet experiences, quiet moments together, and being out together in nature. Just a little bit so I can see you in there. For the past three years, eight-year-old Jake Fisher has wanted only one thing for his birthday, to go elk hunting with Dad. You know, I have a little green on you, make you look like a tree now. There's a certain romance to the idea of a father sharing with his son the secrets of the hunt. Add to that the picture of a traditional weapon like the longbow, and the legacy is colored with folklore and legend dating back to earliest man. And there's been a re real resurgence in traditional archery, especially with this uh, with the Robin Hood movie, uh, Dances with Wolves. Um, I get calls every day for, you know, parents looking for kids, bows for their kids. They've seen Robin Hood and they want a longbow. We take his bow with him because he likes to stump shoot all the time while we're walking along the trails and stuff, and it's just a good way to get in practice and form. Hunting is a Fisher family tradition. Larry was about Jake's age when he began accompanying his father. This story of this hunt begins long before daylight. To go up this ridge right up here. So we're going to go on around and get up in there a little bit and see if we can't cut them off. I've learned so much in the last 10 years talking to them. And every bull's different, every bull sounds different. But it's an incredible experience. If you haven't experienced it, you know, you, you just can't describe it to somebody. For Jake, it's the first time this close to an elk, but it's still too far. For a bow hunter, anything further away than 30 yards is out of range. It's always another day to shoot one, but this you never get this, you know, this is great. You even got to see him, didn't you? All right. But for father and son, the day has just begun. It's some pretty quality time. You know, we're not, we're not distracted by the TV or the telephone. Being out here away from things, we can talk about different things. See, you can hit that clump of grass over there. Ooh. Pretty good shooting. Shoot another one. Okay, shoot another one. Yeah, shoot that one. The fun thing about this, especially with kids, is it's truly instinctive. It's like throwing a rock or throwing a baseball, and if you don't ruin it, you know, by, by putting sights and giving them wheels and that type of thing, they do just fine. In fact, they, they develop an eye early, and, and they carry it right on through. I think you have to take a little lighter side in life to be a bow hunter. If your only purpose in hunting is to shoot animals, bow hunting isn't for you especially truth and low hunting. But if you want to enjoy the time in the woods with your family, it couldn't be better. A similar story about a father and daughter bow hunting is found in the current edition of Traditional Bow Hunter, a magazine published right here in Idaho that you can get at your local newsstand.